Miller here. Do you copy, Snake? I see you've landed. That makes one giant leap for us. I'm sending this from the offshore plant, our mother base. The signal is unidirectional. I'll be giving you commands and advice through this channel. Keep your headphones on at all times and pay attention. Also, make sure no one else can listen in. Snake, are you clear on the controls? Take a minute to refresh your memory. Use the left stick to move. Use the right stick to adjust your view. To change your settings, use the start button to open the menu. Not enough room, huh? We'll keep it here at the... There's no one around. Why not try some shooting practice? Select a target and squeeze off a round or two. Press the directional buttons while holding the R2 button to switch weapons. Ready your weapon with the L1 button. Then press the R1 button to fire. How about a little shooting practice? Try hitting a coconut. Select equipment by pressing the square or circle button while holding the L2 button. To check your map, press the start button to open the menu. The Mark 22 tranquilizer gun can put enemies to sleep. The closer to the head you hit, the more effective it is. The tranquilizer rounds are hard to come by. Don't waste them. The facility you're headed for is past that fence. A grenade should be able to take out that gate. Grenades explode. You throw them, Snake. Use the L1 button to ready throwing weapons. Once you've ready the weapon, throw with the R1 button. When using throwing weapons, hold the attack button down longer to throw farther. You won't throw the weapon until you let go of the button. Snake, don't you think you can use a little more practice? Gotta thank you for agreeing to this snake. Man, am I glad to be out of here. Finally, we can leave all that crap in San Geronimo behind. And break into the mercenary business for real. Let me guess. You're doing it for her. For aren't you? her. For her. Are they still here? Come on, Snake. This could be good for us. They're willing to give us an offshore plant. A place we can finally put down some roots. This is our chance to expand MSF. We don't need a place to stay, guys. We're nomads. We always will be. What? You'd rather keep wandering from conflict to conflict? Tools in the hands of whoever's fighting at the time? The second we settle down, who's to say we won't become the warmongers? Listen to me, Snake. We're not mercenaries. We're not a foreign legion. MSF's a business. A new kind of business. <sighs> Look, it's not like we're trying to start a war here. All we need to do is find out who this security company really is. Come on, Kaz. It's pretty obvious that they're backed by the CIA. Wait a sec. That would mean... Our friend, the Professor, is likely KGB. I see. We'd be making an enemy of our homeland. And there'd be no turning back. Ah, this damn thing won't light. Huh? Put on some coffee, Kaz. It's time for a little chat with the Professor. a heavy smoker. When I got my medal from the Secretary General, he gave me this prosthetic hand as well. But smoking was ruining my lungs, so I quit. I've not had much use for it since. 
It's quite an honor to meet the legendary Big Boss. That's just a code name the CIA made up. Then perhaps I should call you John. <laughs> I don't have a name. Stop using that code name you liked so much ten years ago. What about you, comrade? What do they call you back at center? Well then, allow me to get straight to the point. <laughs> Land as slim as a whip, hot as torture. That's the Chilean poet, Neruda. Central America is the navel of the American continents, bridging north and south. We want this land. We'll build a socialist stronghold, then use it to split the Americas in two. America would lose its backyard. And with it, its economic production, shipping lanes, and strategic value. We, on the other hand, would gain a base from which all of Latin America would be well within our reach. He who controls Central America will win. There they are. CIA mercs. Snake, you've got to get past them undetected. Avoid combat whenever possible. Recovery item. Can't be too careful. The indicator in the upper right serves as a compass and shows sound sources. Pay attention to your surroundings. The percentage in the upper right is your camo index. The lower the number, the more easily you'll be spotted. Conspicuous movements and loud noises will compromise your camo index. Your fatigues will act as camouflage. Start talking. Huh. Looks like you're inside the compound. Security is tight. Stay sharp.
I know I saw something. 